Hello YouTube. In this video I will show you how to do oil service on Fiat Tipo 1.4 liter engine. To perform this you need just some basic hand tools. Phillips head screwdriver and small socket set for under tray, hex key for oil sump plug and some kind of oil filter wrench for unscrewing it. It is recommended that you take car for a drive before oil service as oil will drain out better if engine is warm. We used two post car lift for this job but you can also use a regular car jack to lift the car up just enough to get access to the underside of the car. I would recommend putting on some work clothes as this job could get quite messy as we will see later. First we must jack up the car. Here make sure that lift arms are on proper spot, so we do not damage the car or that car falls from the lift. In worst case we can be seriously injured, so take extra caution and not just double check but triple check if car is stable before performing any jobs under it. We use small wooden blocks on the lift arms as otherwise lift arms would crush rocker panels. To remove engine splash shield, unscrew 5 screws with Philips head screwdriver. Next, unscrew two bigger hex head screws with small socket. Lastly, there are two smaller hex head screws that needs to be removed on the front of the car. After that, splash shield can be easily removed and put aside. With proper size hex key or hex bit socket, slightly untighten drain plug. Do not fully untighten it yet, as oil will flood your floor. Now, put under the car some container that will catch all the oil from the engine. It needs to hold at least 3 liters of oil. If it's not positioned properly, you will have oil spilled all over the place, so be careful with that. With container positioned, you can remove the oil sump plug to drain the oil. For this specific Fiat engine, there is no sealing washer on oil drain plug.
clean it up with rag and put it back in place. Tighten it tight enough that it won't leak oil, but not too much to damage trails in oil sump. Use brake cleaner and rack to clean off all oily parts. Take special care for proper disposal of used engine oil, as it is dangerous for the environment. I usually store it in big plastic container and when it's full, it is taken to recycling center for proper disposal. Next step is removal of the old oil filter. We try to use oil filter strap for removal of oil filter, but the filter was too tight. All the strap tool did was that it made a dent in the filter itself. This resulted of using old trick for removing of stubborn oil filters. Just use some big sharp screwdriver and hammer it through the filter on the top half of it, right half in this case. In first quarter of the filter there is a thread and you do not want to damage that. Also be careful to not damage anything when screwdriver protrudes through filter. With screwdriver through filter you can produce enough torque to finally remove it. Dispose filter safely in same manner than old engine oil. Take new oil canister and shake it for a good measure. Pour some of new oil in the middle hole in the new oil filter to soak filter element. This will help a bit on engine start after oil change, so fresh oil will reach our engine a bit quicker. Rotate filter a bit so that filter element gets soaked all around. If you pour too much inside the filter, oil will spill out when mounting the filter on the engine. So I would recommend that you add little by little and rotate it between. Now Loop the outer rubber ring on the filter and install filter on the engine. Tighten it by hand. Almost as hard you can tighten it with one hand. Use rack and brake cleaner to clean any oil on the outside of the oil filter and engine. With this we successfully installed new oil filter. Pour fresh oil in the engine. 3 liters of oil should be enough for this engine based on factory spec. But do not just throw all of it in yet. I would say pour about 2.7 liters of it into the engine.
Now check the oil level. There should be fresh oil somewhere on the stick between minimum and maximum. If not above minimum, add some more oil. Check also if all drain is leaking and if it's all nice and dry, splash shield can be mounted back on the car. To sum it all up, you should have 5 Phillips head screws two big hex head screws towards the back and two smaller hex head screws to the front of the car. Tighten all of them to not lose any screws while driving. Lower car to the ground, start the car and let it idle for about 1 minute. Turn the car off, wait a little bit and recheck oil level. Add some more oil if needed. Oil level should never be below minimum and never above maximum level on the stick. With this, you finished successfully your oil service on Fiat Tipo. There is only one thing left which is service reset on board computer. Unfortunately, I did not found any option to perform service reset without OBD tool, which has service reset functionality. If you do not have one, visit some local mechanic. He surely has one and he can do the service reset for you in about one minute and for few beers. I hope this video was helpful for you and thanks for watching.